So this week we are going to learn a little bit more about how the data in our views is passed uh, back and forth between the controller and the view. And even though this is called uh, how to work with model binding, uh, you're going to actually learn how to pass that data back and forth if you haven't created the model yet. Uh, obviously, if the model is there, you definitely want to utilize it, but there are other techniques that you can use to pass data back and forth. And so that is uh, what a lot of this chapter talks about. Um, so you're definitely going to want to download the, the to-do list. Um, and you're going to want to update database uh, because it does include migrations. And we'll be looking at examples from that app. And then we're also going to be taking uh, a look at in the bag. And you're going to be doing some additional modifications to that app. So as you go through here, we kind of start with a little review of what we have been doing so far. And you'll notice that there are videos for you to watch. And then we look at some different ways of accessing that data that is in our views. Okay, so all of the different techniques that you can use, uh, including the name property which is typically used by server-side apps. So you're going to see how we can use that property to access data. And as you go through here, you will uh, encounter several hands-on that you are going to need to complete. Uh, and you'll be working with the In the Bag app, as I mentioned. And then there is also an app at the very bottom that you are going to download. And this is one from the textbook. It's way down here at the bottom. Uh, so you are going to want to make sure you download this. Uh, and then you're going to work through these pages to create a view model. And then you'll be you know, modifying the action methods to work with that view model. Uh, and I have a little hint here for instruction six that uh, I think will help you. <laughs> um, so in that instruction, the first four lines of codes that you should use, and I have them listed here. So take note of that. And then I don't think you guys are going to have a problem with this exercise. Uh, but if you do have any questions, let me know. Uh, make sure that you have the apps uploaded so that I can download them and run them, uh, especially if you run into a problem because I need to actually look at it. Uh, have a great week. Uh, once you are done with those two apps, uh, remember to go into the Dropbox and give me links to your repos. Uh, have a great week. And again, if you have questions, please let me know.